Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to take a look today at the jointer. So we have two joiners in our shop. This is the other one. The one that I used for most of our safety videos is the green one. This one is gray. They are identical. They both function the same. The adjustments are the same. Um, the operation is the same. They're both located on either side of the center island in the shop with the table saws. And you are welcome to use either one when you have a need to run your material through the joiner. The primary function of this machine is to take a piece of material, um, either the edge or the face of your board, and to make it flat and straight and true and to remove all the defects from it. This is a core machine to our machine squaring process and being able to use it correctly and set it up correctly will allow you to achieve square material, which will in turn allow for much better projects. So let's take a look at the different parts of the machine here. Um, similar to our thickness planer, we have an in-feed and an out-feed table. Um, so when we run our material through here, we're going to start on the in-feed side on the right side of the machine. And we're going to run it through to the outfeed or the left side. Um, so our infeed and outfeed tables. When we get to setup, what you see is that we only ever change the infeed table. We're never going to adjust the outfeed table. The outfeed table is set uh, coplanar with the top of the knives on the cutter head. And if this this gets moved, it's not going to allow us to cut our boards straight and true. So in-feed table, out-feed table. This gray piece here in the center is our guard. And you can see if I grab a piece of material here and run it from in-feed to out-feed side with the machine turned off, you can see that the guard easily slides out of the way, allowing our material to pass through. Now, if we try to run our material in the opposite direction, you can see the guard is going to prevent us from doing that. Um, so in addition to protecting us from the cutter head, this guard is also going to uh, prevent us from running our material in the wrong direction. Um, the guard covers the cutter head underneath, and it prevents us from accidentally putting our hand on top of the cutter head if we were to slip. But you can see, because of how easily it moves out of the way, if my finger is down in here too close, it's just going to move right out of the way and allow my finger into that cutter head. So we still have to be careful and conscious of our finger positioning. The next thing we want to take a look at here is the fence. The fence runs along the back here, and it's going to allow us to stabilize our material. And when we get into squaring boards, cutting a face flat and then cutting an edge, at a 90 degree angle to that face, the fence becomes really important. So we have a couple of adjustments here. We're gonna make sure we check it for square relative to the table. Um, this handle right here allows us to change the angle of the, of the fence in the event that it gets out of square. And then back here, this handle is going to unlock and allow us to slide the fence in and out along the cutter head. The reason that we might need to do that is that as material is run through this machine, the cutter head starts to get dull. And so we may want to move the fence forward to give us access to a different part of the cutter head to allow for a cleaner cut. We're going to take a look at the cutter head here in a second. But before we do that, I want to look at adjusting the infeed table. So on the front of the machine, Right here, we've got a locking knob that allows us to lock and unlock this table for adjustment. Right here on the front, we have a gauge that shows our depth of cut. And this goes down to 30 seconds of an inch. And the little, the little pointer shows you how much material you're going to remove when you pass your material through this machine. If we need to make a change to this, We've got to unlock the front locking nub, knob. And then underneath the table right here, 
is a handle that we can use to adjust this table up and down. We'll take a closer look at that during our setup video. The outfeed table has the same adjustments, but again, we are never going to make this change on the outfeed table. We're only going to make this change on our infeed table. We also have our power button on the front, start and stop. Now let's take a closer look at the blade on this machine and how it works. So with the guard held back out of the way, we can see our cutter head down in here. Now, I have this machine unplugged and the dust collector is turned off when I'm putting my hands down in here by the cutter head because I do not want this machine to accidentally short out and turn on. The way this cutter head works is it's got three knives located along the cutter head with the sharp edge pointed towards our infeed table. This is our infeed and this is our outfeed. When we turn this machine on, this cutter head is going to start rotating towards the infeed table, which means as we run our material through this machine, we are running it against the rotation of the cutter head. The cutter head is rotating towards the infeed table, and I'm pushing towards the outfeed table. And that's what allows us to have control over our workpiece as we're running. Now, because of the rotation of this machine, if our fingers were to get down in here while this cutter head is rotating, what this machine is going to do is it's actually going to pull our fingers down in here while that rotation is happening, and it's going to just continue to cut more and more of our fingers. So as we talk about, um, it's critical that we keep our fingers away from this cutter head. So that is the way that the cutter head on the joiner works, and that's what our cut the cutter head looks like, giving you an idea of how this machine functions and how to maintain control over your workpiece. So that is our overview of the joiner. In our other videos, you'll learn how to get it set up for operation, how to be safe, um, and then you'll get to actually see it in use.